What's up, everybody? It's Tad Canyon Addiction here, and I have a little something for you from Concept Knives today. Uh, this is part of our little concept pass around group. So let's just take a look in the box and see what we got. Now, Concept does do a very good job on their packaging. And if you couldn't hear that, this thing is pretty much airtight. You got your paperwork in here. And so far, every concept knife that I've seen has this nice little slip that comes with it. Now again, this is the concept gremlin. So we'll just bust this guy open and see what we're looking at. So here we are. You got some nice carbon fiber there. Uh, it doesn't really show up in the camera all that well, but it, there is red in there. If we can get that angle right. Uh, this is not a large knife at all. It's coming in at about 2.5 ounces. So it is very light, as you can see. With my little monkey paws here, it fits. You can almost disappear that guy in your hand. But what I've seen to like about this knife the most, it does have an S35VN blade that is uh, 2.9 inches long. But the beauty of that is with the edge geometry here, your cutting edge is actually 3 inches long. Now, being a concept knife, it does have very good action on it it's pretty much drop shut now one thing I don't care for but some people do is the little lanyard part here in the back spacer um, personally I don't really use lanyards unless the knife comes with it uh, like uh, my Sabenza did but overall you have your titanium very well done and this is on bearings, and like I said, it is very smooth. So let's give a little size comparison here to something I think shows up kind of funny when we're looking at it. Compared to this particular knife, we have the Ohlone Goat. Uh, it has a three inch blade. And it's slightly heavier and is a little thicker, but Generally, they kind of look almost the same. Uh, you know, they could almost be fraternal twins. But you can see the carbon fiber is very similar. And, of course, that's something of equal size to compare it to. Uh, a lot of people do carry things a little bit bigger. And so the next step up, you're looking at maybe, what, three and a quarter inch blade? Something close to that, so let's get the goat put back here. And we have the bug out. This particular one is the gold class, but uh, as far as length goes, the dimensions are the same as all the other bug outs. And that's kind of generally what you're looking at there. Now, like I said, this concept knife it's very light, not quite as light as the bug out, but uh, it just has a different feel in hand. It feels really good the way this blade moves up like that. You don't need a lot of jimping. I would prefer a little bit there just to lock my thumb down, but uh, the little ramp does provide good leverage for your, uh, your finer detailed type of cuts. But let's take a look at that. It has a very nice pocket clip just about disappears in the pocket which is fantastic you know there's zero blade play on this guy and I have found these on uh, Blade HQ for I think around $150, $160 not terribly bad but you know overall I think this is a pretty good little knife um, you know, if you're shopping for something like this and you're, uh, you know, you're in that 
basic bug out range of price. You know, take a look. Maybe go down to a store, get one of these little guys in hand and just kind of feel it. You do have to experience the, uh, just the way this is. It's, it's such a nice little knife, like I said. With that action, you know, it's solid, it sounds solid. And uh, there's very few screws holding this together, which I always think is a good thing. Uh, a little less complicated to uh, disassemble or do some maintenance on. But that is what I'm going to leave you with today. So there you have your Concept Knives Gremlin. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll have some more videos coming out soon. So until next time, everybody take care and have a great day.